everybody this is Marjorie. <laughs> Look at me today, I'm all in mint. It's nice, isn't it? It's very subtle. Very me, very delicate, subtle. Fade away into the background, you wouldn't have kind of was there. <laughs> she and link down below, by the way. Now, I was going to tell you the day, oh my God, wait till I tell you this. You know my, my, you know my cousin Dorothy, you know drippy drawers, you know, Britain's last hope. Well, she's been a wee bit in the dump, so I says to Dorothy the other day, I says, why don't you come up? Come on, get a wee cup of tea and a wee biscuit and a wee bit of cake. I've got that nice sultana cake. You can't make sultana cake you like. And it, bonus, it's still in date, right? So come on up. I usually, I usually leave my out date hangs for her because, I mean, she's that miserable. She doesn't appreciate it, hangs. See when you give somebody a nice bit of fresh cake and they go, mm, not quite my taste. I went, see you next time. I'll wait till that's out date and then I don't care if you like it or not because it's out date. <laughs> nay harm, nay waste up the old man next door. Anyway, so I says, what have you been up to, Dorothy? What have you been keeping yourself amused with? And she says, oh, well, a couple of weeks ago, Marjorie, I went to the theatre to cheer myself up. I says, I hope it was a comedy, Dorothy. What did she tell me she went away to see? Was it The Kings? What was it? The, the big long title. The Curious Accident of the Monkey in the Dinner Time. Something like that. It was a big long title. She says it was awfully good. It was awfully, uh, awfully lit and up. What was it? She says it was about autism. She, was, she says it was a very, very good play. Very well done. I says, oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you got out, Dorothy. And she says, I think I've got an admirer. I says, have you? Are you falling in love? She went, I wouldn't go that far, Marjorie. I says, who do you think is an admirer? She says, Jasper. I says, who's Jasper? Jasper the ghost? She says, that's Casper. I says, same difference. She says, no, this Jasper, right? Ja Jasper's the vet. He's the local vet. Now, he's been at the theatre and all. Now, long story short, I'll date in my voice, because if I date in Dorothy's voice, <laughs> it'll take about 15 minutes to tell you this story. So, apparently, Dorothy kept turning round in the row because she, well, she thought this man was looking at her. So she kept going like that, like that, and before the show started at the interval and after it finished. And she says, I recognise that man, but I'm not sure who that man is. Well, it turns out it was Jasper the Vet. Now, she thought he kept looking along the row and he kept winking at her. No, turns out he had a wee bit of dust in his eye and he was, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all been funny. Might have Ken. I mean, poor Dorothy, she's getting their luck. Anyway, Dorothy, right? Dorothy gets the rang stick end. End of the stick. I can't there was a stick, I can't there was an end. I just <laughs> I wasn't very sure about where it was going. Anyway, so she's out getting the cake run the other, other the other day and she pops into the bed and she you know she she invites Jasper for dinner. And I says, Oh that that was a very bold move. Dorothy, that was a very bold move. Good for you. That might cheer you up. That might put a smile on your face. And she says, um, yes, I'm looking forward to it, Marjorie. I says, oh, I, I bet Jasper's looking forward to it. I know. Hmm? A, a night with Dorothy. No, I mean, I don't mean a hell night. <laughs> oh, no, don't you start that rumour. Oh, my God, Dorothy will have my, <laughs> my, my scanters for, for garters. So... She says she's going to meet, she, well, she said to me she was she was thinking about, she was going to meet chicken. And I say, you can't eat meat chicken for a veterinarian. They don't eat chicken. She went, oh, no. I'll need to think of something else. I went, give him some asparagus and some tatties. That'll, that'll be nice. He'll like that. Maybe sprinkle some cress or something. I don't know what a veterinarian would eat, but I says, no chicken. So that was that. So she brings out this white throat. She says, I'm thinking of wearing this, Marjorie. I says, right, wait, try it on, wait, try it on, Marjorie. Dorothy. Hmm? So she goes away, she tries it on, and she comes out, and it was all, it was all, um, frills, it was all pleats, right? And then <laughs> she says, what do you think, Marjorie? Do you think I look like Marilyn Monroe? I says, dead or alive, Dorothy. So I says, oh, that's lovely. Oh, Jasper will like that frock. Oh, that's lovely. You, you look like a film star. Well, she was as Happy as Nicola in a barber shop. Oh, she was all chuffed. So she goes away, she gets her gets her rain clays back on and we're, we're sitting having a wee bit of sultana cake and a wee cup of tea and I says, Oh, that'll be lovely. You'll be you'll be looking forward to your 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 dinner date with Jasper for you know Jasper the veterinarian who doesn't eat chicken. And I says, What's what's his surname? I can't even mind his surname. What's Jasper's surname? She says, It's Shuffle Bottom. I mean, I mean, you couldn't make that up, could you? You couldn't make it up. Shuffle bottom. Jasper shuffle. Sh <laughs> Jasper shuffle. I can't say that. Jasper shuffle bottom. 
Now he was a year under us at the school, right? And I says, wait a minute, Jasper, Jasper, that wee Jasper, that wee nyaf that was the year under us at the school, Jasper as in Jasper who's got a friend, friend, Sebastian. She went, I think he does have a friend, Sebastian. I went, wait a minute, as in Jasper and Sebastian. She went, oh no Marjorie. Am I barking up the wrong tree? I says, barking up the wrong tree? I think you're in the wrong woods, Dorothy. I says, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I think he might just be coming for the, for the dinner. Little does he care, he's going to get chicken. He's a veterinarian. He won't be happy at all. Anyway, I says, I mean, you remember him at the school in the playground? He was dead cheeky, dead cheeky at the school. Oh, the teachers used to say, you are an impotent wee boy. And I says, oh, he's no, he's no change. He's still cheeky. So anyway, he came for his dinner, he had his asparagus, he had his cress, he had his tatty, she made him a trifle, happy as Larry. Away he goes, out the gate, went across the road, tractor comes along, 60 mile an hour, knocks him down, dead. I went, oh my God, just when Dorothy was on the, on the brink of hope with Jasper, who wasn't interested but was there for his dinner anyway, I mean, poor Dorothy, I says, Dorothy, you, you, what a life, you couldn't make this up. You know, here he is, with a surname, Jasper, right? The surname's Soggy Bottom. Is it Soggy Bottom? <laughs> I don't know. So good. So, shuffle, shuffle Bottom. What did I call him? Soggy Bottom. That's a cake. You get the surname, Shuffle Bottom. He's impotent. He's a homo sapien, a veterinarian. And then, to add a slight complication to all that, he's dead. Oh. <laughs>